Hi guys, I'm Yelda. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see behind me, it's not an LD like usual because today we are going to do something different. Today we are going to install a module on this BMW 330i. After install this module and do some codings, your car will be have the M tracks on your display and the same to your head off display as well. So it will be looks like the M pass on your dashboard. So this method fits all of the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 series and uh, X3, 4, 5, 6, 7 SUVs. As long as you don't have the hybrid car or the ACC Plus with the BCD2. Basically all of the G chassis cars will be fit with this module. And as you can see, this is the module we are going to install on the passenger side. As you can see, it's a very small module and uh, just four pins. So the installation will be very easy and this peak will be the only tools you need. And after that, we are going to do some codings as well. So let's we begin the work. So now we are at the passenger side. You just need to use a screwdriver that's with the flat head. And then there are one lock on each side and then you just use it and twist it 90 degrees and then it will be out. You can also just use your hands, but this I found is easier. And after that, this piece should be out. It's not a game, it's a red stick. Here has a plug also. This is out. Here has a click. You just pull it out. So right now you have to take this cover up and then remove this. Then we can see the module inside. As you can see, these two pieces is out, and then we can see the module at here. We are going to unplug this white one. And uh, in order to unplug it, you just hold the clip on two sides, and then the green pull will be out, and then this will be removed. So right now, as you can see, the white one is out, and now we have to remove this cover. Just like that, you have to use something tiny like this peak to open the two sides or press the here. Then this cable will be out. And right now, we are going to remove the pin 7, 32, 35, and 36 from this cable. And you will see the numbers on the top of the cable. And then you just count it. You also have to slide it out in order to see the back. We are going to start with the pin 7 first. So once the pin 7 is out, and we are going to put one of the wire from the module, which is the right one. Right one goes to stock pin 7. And once the right one is in, you are going to put the stock pin 7 to the harness here. Follow the same color. Now the 32 is out and the fancy black goes into the 32. And the one slide in and the put the 32 is onto the module harness. And now the 35. And now put the blue one to the 35 once the 35 is out. And now put the stock 35 to the module harness. And the last one 36. And now put the green one to the 36. And now put the stock 36 into the module harness. Now we are just going to connect this to the plug. So now everything is connected and put this one back. Now they are slide back and now we can put the plug back and that's everything.
Once the white plug is in, we're going just to put it back to the car. The white plug is in. I'm going to use some zip tie to clean it up, and that's everything. Right now, the coating is done, and uh, everything is worked. We just checked, and uh, let me take you have a quick look. Let's restart the engine first. And uh, now, as you can see, the the normal display, and uh, when we press the sport. It will go to here directly, and then when you press the comfort, it will back. Also, you can hear the exhaust is closing and opening. And also, if you want to change the right side the panel information, you can just press the BC button on the left, and uh, you press it. It's changing information. Fuel consumption, mileage. Tire pressure and the temperature and the boost and the, the horsepower and the torque and the G force and the same to the left side. If you want to set up the left side, go to your setting. Uh, let me go back. When you click the car and then display and the instruments panel and the configuration and uh, the for the left and uh, you can choose MT engine data G meter or MT so and that's for the sport you also can change to the this one for the normal comfort display you can also change to the route preview or map view or the off. This is how you change in the left side. I think it's really cool. So how do you guys think? And I really like this new BMW interior. As you can see, all of this ambient light. This looks great. So this is it. How do you guys think this new M track display? I think it's really great. And also the installation is pretty easy and you don't have to take much panels out. So if you are interested to get one of these for your G chassis, I will put the link in the description below. This will be end of this video. How do you guys think this different content than usual? Let me know how do you guys think in the comments below. And I will try to make as more as possible. This will be end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and uh, thanks for you're watching. I will see you next video.